I remember the first time I landed into Wellington and one of the staff from the club picked me up. It was pouring rain. Um, it was pretty miserable, to be honest. Um, bit of a bumpy flight coming in, and I'm not the best flyer either, so... Um, yeah, I was a bit nervous coming in, and the weather was horrible, and... Yeah, to be honest, I thought, oh, this is, this is an interesting place for a young guy to come back to after uh, living in Sydney for four, four or five years. So, uh, yeah, it took a little while to adjust to a, to a smaller city and um, different climate and things like that. But once we got into pre-season training that, that first season and we had a really good group of guys and um, quite enjoyed it, to be honest. Glad you brought that up because see where that dentist sign is over there. I'm not sure if we can get any footage of the dentist sign. That was uh, the apartment I rented when I first moved over when the Phoenix was created, and that was extremely expensive rent for what it was. It was a it's a one bedroom shoebox. Um, it's not that whole bottom level. It's only half, and it was 480 bucks a week. And uh, I didn't have much money to spend after that when I first came over. Um, but look at the location. I walked in there, um, and at that stage I was on, living on my own, and I thought this is awesome. We, uh, we live in Miramar now, so it's a fantastic suburb. It's, it's quite handy. It's close to the airport for obviously all our traveling. And when we're training at Newtown Park, it's not too far away. And, and actually a couple of the boys have moved into the area now as well. So. Andrew Durante lives two streets away, which um, sometimes is a little bit inconvenient when he pops over unannounced with his three children, um, just as we've tidied up the place. But, um, you know, we, we love him and we love his family, so it's, it's all good fun. Yeah, so the, this, this park over here, um, we used to take my son Ashton when he was uh, 11 or 12 months down and, and just let him at that stage kind of crawl around and stumble around and, um, you know, just enjoy some fresh air and sunshine as we we're just living in the apartment around the corner here. And, um, yeah, we, we used to kind of hold his hand and, and let him take his, his first couple of steps. And I was rolling a football around with him one day, I think it was the, the day after a game, and he uh, I rolled, rolled the ball along and he, he let go of my hand and must have taken four or five steps. and. Um, you know, it was his, his first steps really in the, that park over there and um, you know, every time we drive past it now and, and we still take him there for a play and he still runs around and kicks the ball and you know, just those, those little memories, little special memories like that. It, match day in Wellington is an awesome experience, it's, it's a day really, it's, it's, it's an event, it's not just a, a match. So. Um, yeah, as we come along, come along here, and you know, I guess really get into to game mode. Yeah, it's 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 a nice feeling pulling up at the lights and seeing parents with their kids, and you know, a group of guys you know, starting their night out. I guess coming to the Phoenix game and get you pumped up. You know, we've seen those guys. You know, looking for a good time and you know us usually a couple of us sharing a car ride to the ground talking about the game and and what we've got to do and you know and then seeing the fans basically doing the same thing on the way to the ground um, you know either pick up a couple of the boys and um, then start kind of talking about game and, and thinking about it a bit more and, and who we're up against and um, you know you run through all the scenarios in your head as you get closer to the ground you know, how you're going to win the game, what are you going to do, what the instructions have been during the week from the coaching staff, um, things like that. The weather, how that's going to play a part. Usually we're driving along here with our, our fingers crossed for, for nice clear skies and as a goalkeeper not too much wind because the wind does play a, a big, big part in the stadium and um, it's something that I, I kind of look for coming along here to see see what it's like with the trees moving and, and flags and cranes being blown over and things like that. So uh, the car shaking is not going to be good. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Or you, or you look on the sidewalk there at the pedestrians and the fans and you kind of uh, having a look to see how far they're leaning into the wind because sometimes they've got a good lean on and uh, you know you can only imagine what the, the wind does to a football in a in a round stadium when the, the wind comes in through that tunnel, so. 
when you start to see the stadium and the advertising around it and there's usually flags on the, the light poles and things like that. Um, yeah, you get that excitement, that, that buzz. Um, you know, nervous energy for me is just, just the adrenaline kicking in really. Um, because if, if there's no, if you're not nervous, if there's no nervous energy, then you know I feel that it doesn't mean anything to you. It's 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 almost like a I guess a training session or a practice game. But um, I love feeling those nerves, that excitement, you know, pulling to the ground, um, ready to go out there. As I said, it's what I look forward to all week, and and I have done for my you know, 12, 13 um, odd years playing as a professional.